In this set of videos, I'd like to go over the postulates of quantum mechanics as I review to the basics of this topic and also to introduce or review Dirac notation or bracket notation as this will let us, uh, this will allow for a basis free development of quantum mechanics. And you'll see what I mean by that in later videos. So the first postulate of quantum mechanics says that you get a complete description of the state of a quantum mechanical system at time t naught by what's sometimes called a state vector or a cap vector denoted uh, in these uh, kind of funny brackets. And this is known as a cat, something that has a line here and a little bracket like that. And this state vector is an element of a Hilbert space. So there's a few things we need to deconstruct from that. The first is what a Hilbert space is. So a Hilbert space is a linear vector space that is also, so it satisfies the usual properties of vector spaces, but is also equipped with an inner product or sometimes called a scalar product. Okay, and the way we'll denote that is for two elements of the same Hilbert space, which we'll denote by cat u and cat v. And the inner product is denoted by uh, this quantity. So you have a left bracket u, a straight line v, and then a right bracket. So this is how we'll denote abstractly for the moment an inner product. And this in general will be a complex number. So a complex scalar, if you prefer. Uh, a particularly important property of the scalar product on top of the usual uh, distribution and uh, distributive and, and all that uh, properties is uh, the complex conjugate of a scalar product uh, just means that you switch the order of your two elements. Okay, so here, this little star denotes the complex conjugate. Okay, and we'll see in the following videos, the consequences of, of this property. For now, we'll focus on uh, a subtle thing that we did. We introduced this other quantity that had the bracket pointing to the left. And this quantity is known as a bra. Um, And for the moment, you can think of this as an element of its own vector space. Technically speaking, the vector space of bras is what's known as a dual vector space to the vector space of cats, but we uh, won't worry too much about that at the moment. Uh, what you do need to, uh, to understand is that for every cat, which we're denoting like this, there's a uh, corresponding bra such that 
the inner product between these two gives you a complex number. The other property that's useful to, to know is in general, if you have a complex number A multiplying a cat and you take the complex conjugate of that, this will give you the corresponding bra and the complex conjugate of your number. So here A is also a complex number. It has nothing to do with the with this inner product. It's just a complex number of its own. So at the moment, we're dealing in a very abstract space. So in the next video, we'll go through a couple of examples uh, showing exactly what a bra does or what it is uh, for two particular and familiar examples.